Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. So I was watching Star Wars recently and I noticed Han Solo said this. It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Actually, a parsec's a unit of distance, so that claim makes no physical sense. Hmm. You know what? We're going to try to make some sense of it anyway. For those of you who don't know, the Kessel Run is an 18 parsec strip of space in the Star Wars galaxy that smugglers use to transport spice. It's kind of tough to get through because it's monitored by Imperial forces. Not that Imperial forces are known for being good shots, or even all that smart. Anyway, let's start with a little dose of reality about writing stories. In the revised fourth draft of the script of Star Wars A New Hope, immediately following that line from Han, it says, Ben reacts to Solo's stupid attempt to impress them with obvious misinformation. Which seems to suggest that Han was purposefully giving them a load of crap. However, in the official audio commentary, George Lucas claims, Han used units of parsecs because the Millennium Falcon's navigation system is so sophisticated they can calculate a straighter path through hyperspace. Which seems to suggest that Han was telling the truth. Backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. See? Totally inconsistent. Yes, it's inconsistent. But we like to think of books and movies as though they contain completely self-consistent worlds that actually exist. So what would it take to actually shorten 18 parsecs to 12? First, if we're going to use a unit like parsec, we better know what it means. It's actually short for parallax of an arc second. To make some sense of it, we're gonna have to zoom out. No, 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 like way out. Ugh, just keep going until I tell you to stop. Keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. Out here, you can see the entire orbit of Earth. If we look at this nearby star, it looks like it's by these distant stars. Six months later, though, it looks like it's over here. It's kind of like when you're driving down the road, and the far away things look like they're moving a lot slower than the closer things. That difference is called parallax, and it's the same thing your two eyes use to give you depth perception. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. An arc second is an angle measurement, 1 hundredth of a degree to be specific. Just like how a second is 1 hundredth of an hour. So like, a super small angle. Divisions like this are left over from ancient Babylon on where they, hey! If the Earth's parallax of a nearby star forms an angle of one arc second, then the star is said to be one parsec away from Earth, which is about three and a quarter light years, or 19 trillion miles. You couldn't have used that unit anyway because Earth doesn't exist in the Star Wars galaxy. Maybe not, but humans evolved on Earth partly because the Sun is just the right size and the Earth is just the right distance away. Any fictional planet that evolves humans will have a comparably sized orbit. Boom! So the question remains, how do we turn 18 parsecs into 12. The ships in Star Wars jump into something called hyperspace. Actually, hyperspace is completely fictional. Ugh, it doesn't matter if it's fictional, just go with me here. We can assume the fictional physics of hyperspace doesn't shorten distances. Because if that were true, Han wouldn't be boasting about distance. It doesn't make any sense. We can also assume that hyperspace isn't just slang for almost light speed. Because at nearly light speed, even 12 parsecs would take 40 years to travel. The delivery dates would be totally impractical. We also know that everything with mass travels slower than the speed of light, which leaves us with only one option for hyperspace. It's a portion of space where the speed of light is faster than usual. So inside hyperspace, you can travel much faster than usual. And the navigation computer just has a map of where it all is and which parts are safe. And since the speed of light is faster, you're still not moving at a significant fraction of it. So special relativity doesn't apply. But general relativity still can. As we've seen before, gravity affects objects by changing what's Straight lines look like. Changing the shape of space also changes its size. But a small star like the sun isn't gonna cut it. We're gonna need a bigger mass. Hardcore Star Wars fans have suggested that Han might have used a set of black holes called the Maw Cluster. Actually, that's not Star Wars canon. That's expanded universe, which makes it Star Wars Legends. Didn't you get that memo? Fine. 18 parsecs is a pretty big region of space. We can assume somewhere in there there's at least one black hole. Completely empty space is described by this equation. The space around a black hole is described by this equation. The identical stuff shows how space is unaffected by the black hole, so we'll ignore those. We're also only interested in space, not time, so we'll ignore this too. And we can see now the black hole only affects space along radial lines. If we take a ruler and wait a second, the distances are bigger when you get closer to the black hole. Getting close to a black hole makes the Kessel run longer, not shorter. Ha! I win! So, have you ever thought this deeply about a fictional world? If so, which one? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.